Hello and welcome to Wake Up and Smell the Prophet S&P 500 Review for Tuesday, July 25th, 2023. It's now the 24th. We start off in the S&P 500 weekly chart looking back to September 2022. And you can see that the sequential cluster has printed. And here was the last plus sign for the sequential cluster. You can see it traveled for quite a long time all the way back to this 12 here which is hiding a sequential cluster cell countdown 8 under it. So the 12 gets precedence but there is an 8 there and you can see the close was at 4535.43 on August 29th, 2021. And this was the last plus sign. And it had a high of 4527.76. And then the next bar here is higher than that, but did not meet the criteria for printing the sequential cluster cell countdown 13 but it did for the open on July 23rd Monday so whether that holds for the entire week we'll have to check back near end of day Friday and we know that the daily chart has printed the 13s and you can see video number 537 for that for the daily chart and the last weekly S&P 500 chart that shows just the combo cluster was video number 526. So if this holds for end of week and there's a good chance we'll get to keep it for the start of next week Monday but the sequential cluster and combo 13s act a lot different than the normal sequential and combo 13s. So if it does hold, there will be another risk level up here for sequential and combo cluster to add to this phantom, the regular sequential and variable sequential. And that's at 4974.24. And if it does hold and actually get to keep these 13s for start of next week, then that is a really good indication of trend exhaustion when you get these 13s. Now granted they are clusters, but nonetheless they are combo and sequential 13s along with the daily chart printing the regular sequential and combo 13s. That's uh, a good indication of trend exhaustion.